Hi Nidra. As usual, I've been I've been sitting on this one, you know. Uh very interesting. As usual, uh you make some very good contributions to us all, really, I think this is what we're all about and yeah, I've been sitting on this one and trying to absorb it and there's things that I've been talking about for for years and it's like a vicious circle, you know, I think some of the points that you point at out uh what Harriet Cubman and uh, her points and what not and I thought to myself isn't it uh, amazing that uh, we all seem to be going around in circles thinking that we're something that we're not and as for the people in power sadly some of them are children and uh, we seem to educate them and get them on and think we're creating the very best for them but uh, but once they get into these uh, positions they they tend to forget who they are and I don't suppose they do in some ways they probably do know who they are but uh, I suppose they must be educated that uh, this is the big man's game in the big man's field. If you belong to it, you've got to be like this. The way the big man thinks. and uh, You know, he's put you to run the world. and This is how you run the world. And uh, these are the people below. And we are the people on top. And, uh... You either follow our mentality or we would never help you up the ladder. In some ways you will never know that we will never help you up the ladder. We would stand there in the background and watch and observe the way you, you bend with the wind and develop the mentality that uh, we will put all the ticks while you are at university for you to get on or we shall pretend that you never existed uh, it's very difficult I suppose uh, for working class children to get on and when they do get on they, they become something else totally uh, they no longer represent us they turn into this other creature The, the decent children with that grows up with this sacred mentality that seem to get on in our society it's um, the children that seem to get on there's the one that uh, develops this corrupted mentality you know as if you know to get on in our sort of society you know you need to follow the wave of corruption you know you these people that from above that are your employers and uh, the people that has been given these high positions in our society seem to um, allow, you know, the basically the people that follow their orders to come up the ladder, you know, and um, because I suppose the same thing for them themselves, you know, they they manage to get up the ladder because they listen. To this group of rulers or group of uh, people that was above them, you know, the, as long as they follow these uh, orders that they are given, you know, and uh, to please this this uh, demigods or these gods of the future that run industry and. Uh, massive corporates that are uh, have the power in the the in a sense um knowing 
all the right areas and positions of people that matters in our society you know they 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 call it like you know basically um they know which strings to pull uh, and able to to benefit their interests and uh all these people coming up from the ladder you see the thing is it's not this sacred people that um one would admire if you but we we do admire these people and we're told that we got to admire these people and they you know they they are the professionals you know that run our society but uh but there again I suppose they're all they're all like we are all pawns in the game and uh if you you're corrupted enough you probably get into these good positions that are the people at the top who thinks that uh, that is the sort of um, way they have to run the society uh, you know they have I really believe that they believe that that's how life is um, you know it's uh, this is how society should be run and this is how the world should be run corrupt corruptedly and um And I suppose they've been doing that for bloody centuries, you know, and uh, and here we are again, round, you know, two million, uh, and we, we still think that uh, it's normal, in a sense, that, uh, but, but when I s stand back and take a look at the, the, from what I saw and can see in society, that uh, the majority of uh, people at the top that seem to get on is because they they told the uh, the line, you know, to 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 what is expected out of them, and the people who are expecting these things out of them that uh, could put them into the positions that they require. They themselves has been through this uh, this transaction of. Uh, with their superiors in the past where you know it's the only way to get on in our society is true being that way uh, it seemed to you know corruption and uh, all these things seem to make more money make companies and corporates bigger and richer finally they, they believe themselves that uh without this corruption and without this form of behavior they you know they, they they won't have the company they have today then and they're probably right but do we as a decent human beings and believe in a decent society want such a corporate to exist you know do do we want to have our names behind these types of corporate you know like but i think a lot of working class people seem to have their head buried in the sand where it comes to that they just seem to be grateful to have a a job and get paid and bring up their family but uh, they, they they don't stop for a moment and think uh, oh, you're working for this lump of shit basically uh, and uh, do we have to survive from the income from these lumps of shit and uh, is that the sort of society that we have to live in do we I wonder you know um, but that's the impression I get anyway, because, uh, and I find like, um, when you're moving out of the basic corporates where they, you know, they have this power of putting, you know, getting the right people up in the universities and getting the right solicitors into high positions, getting the right consultants into the right positions. You can understand in some ways with uh, solicitors and whatnot, but uh, but when you look at into, you know, the national health system, how you know in over here, how it's drifting into the private sector, drawn into the private sector because uh, at the end of the day, I suppose for years the private sector has been sector been using our consultant, exploiting them, and of course when they they get this 
one hand on money from the national health and the other hand on money from the their private surgeries uh, gradually they've become another different type of animal altogether um, you know open to this mentality and this way of thinking I don't know in the states because it's, everything is private uh, they they don't have the the sort of uh, they don't come up the road that our consultants do what I'm really trying to get at is um, we've reached a point now in our society where the whole corruption machine is so well integrated in our society that uh, even trying to communicate about it on YouTube is extremely difficult because there's a huge percentage of people that you're communicating with and dealing with are part of this massive game, you know, that uh, the, the, the whole machinery that runs our society and the whole infrastructure is uh, so well integrated into that form of mentality you know there's people probably listening to this uh, video and uh, know what I'm talking about but uh, but yet when they look into their lives and into their positions and into the scenario that uh, they belong to they they will button their mouths you know absolutely sewn up clamped forever because uh, they're there whether they like it or not and uh, less said the better you know and um, so we it's going to be extremely difficult for you know to 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 to, to draw the the decent man out of this you know shell that is cocooning basically uh, into this animal that uh, he's become he, you know, he, he, he doesn't realize anymore that uh, he's no longer this human that something sacred created uh, probably if he looks in the mirror long enough he might be able to recognize this lump of shit that he's become uh, whether he wants to admit to it and whether he wants to say oh that's how life is you know we can't change it uh, no one man can change these things but uh, but uh, I often wonder how long is this going to go on for you know it's just like like religion basically I say to all the these uh, religious different denomination of religions that come along and communicate with me I say to them that uh, how long has religion been with us you know for how many thousands of years two thousand years or whatever and uh, never done anything for, for, for the ordinary man on the street and you know the corruption is as much here today as it was in uh, Christianity time or in you know um all these other religious times are uh, still living here in the same environment and the same mentality except with all these wonderful rules and laws that are supposed to uh, make this world a better place but it hasn't changed at all you know uh, but uh, well the thing is is how long you know I say to them uh, are you willing to draw that line? You know, uh, shall we give Christianity another thousand years? Uh, you know, uh, the Muslim religion another thousand years to to achieve something for mankind before we say, oh, look, enough is enough. You know, you've had three thousand years, and uh, that's your lot. You know, we're gonna have to sack the bloody lot of you because you haven't achieved nothing for us. But uh, no, it seemed to be uh, it's never ending, the, the never ending story basically. It's going to go on and on and on and on and on 
till till nature decides you know i've had i've had enough of you damn lot you know i'm gonna have to get rid of you a bunch of shitters whether you'll like it or not you know that's the only way it's gonna end unfortunately you know considering that we're supposed to be these uh you know thing that god created and you know given us a fantastic mind to think and use our bloody damn brains but uh no we we're gonna have to wait for nature to finish this off because we we won't be able to sort this problem out it is going to go on forever basically and um because why because they're all in their bloody positions of power and areas that uh, they govern and working people are looking up and don't know what to damn well do I suppose we deserve what we get you know probably you know hope these archives survive the disaster and some alien will come along and think oh bloody hell a lump of bloody shit is live here didn't they I eh? well Anyway, uh, I think it's about time I ended this uh, nice, uh, <laughs> nice video again. Right, take care, you lot. <laughs>